Love this podcast? Support it and sponsor today. Simply head to OzCastNetwork.com for details. So recently we kicked off one of our biggest projects ever. Of course, it's Fresh Jobs. Now, this is an online portal providing young people with access to information they need to gain and retain employment, which it includes like career guidance, advice from industry expertise and resume templates. So today we're chatting to the field consultant from TAPS to hear about how TAPS can assist you in the in, into the industry, working and training you towards becoming a fully qualified tradesperson. Thank you for joining us, Ricky. How are you? Good, thanks. Thanks for having me. So, Ricky, can you tell us a little bit about TAPS and what you do? TAPS, we are a group training organisation that mainly works within the plumbing industry, so providing plumbing apprentices, roof plumbing apprentices, refrigeration. We've also got um, business admin traineeships as well. Yeah, right. Okay. So, uh, Ricky, what are the benefits of applying for an apprenticeship? Well, I guess the biggest benefit is you're getting paid while you learn, as opposed to uni, which is probably the other option coming out of high school for most students or most people. Yeah, you're getting paid to learn, you're getting paid, you're working outdoors, you're, you're doing all the fun things. Yeah. I guess if, if uni's not for you, then an apprenticeship should be... Hands-on sort of thing. Yeah, that's yeah, it. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. So how can we apply and, and what is involved? It's easy to apply if you just visit our website, tapsa.com.au. Yep. Click on Apprenticeship, Supply Now. It will give you a lot of information on that website, the trades that we offer and the vocations we offer. Just that easy. Easy as that. Yeah. Literally a two minute. And so do, do you need any qualifications or anything to get into an apprenticeship? Nothing at all. All you need is, I guess, a good attitude and uh, willingness to work and dedication to your trade. And if it's something that you're passionate about, then it makes it a lot easier. Amazing. Awesome. So how many people do you get through a course a year? So previously, this financial year that's just about to wrap, wrap up, we had our record of 170 plus apprentices come on board or trainees. Currently at the moment, we've got about 450 apprentices and trainees on the book. So roughly about 150 a year coming on board. Amazing. Oh, wow. That's huge. So obviously there's so many, so much has happened in there. So many, uh, you know, courses and people applying, but um, on the other end of it, what is um, involved in becoming a host employer? Yep. Uh, host employer. So that's, we, we rely on host employers to employ our apprentices. So easy as that as well, visiting our website or giving us a buzz, our office a buzz and hosting an apprentice. As long as you got, I guess, all the all the right safety requirements and all the right paperwork on board, then happy days. Yeah. Amazing. Fresh ninety two seven presents Resume B, kickstarting your career with fresh jobs. So basically, Ricky, you've got, you have a skill in front of you and you're going to read it out and then we're all going to try and convince you that it's our skill, but there's two rats among us. Two of us will be lying. Only one of us is telling the truth. You can ask each of us a follow-up question to really dive deeper into the psyche of us all. Mm. And uh, then you just get you just have to pick who's telling the truth. Right, yeah. It's easy as. So what's the skill today? Bullseye aim of a newspaper. I'll start, okay, I guess. Sure, so, right. yeah, I used to do the news routes as a, as a kid, paper boy, ride my bike, and, yeah, I was always hitting the doors. Never missed. Never missed. Got a great right arm on me. Feel free to psychanalyse him, make him crumble. You can uh, ask more questions. Uh, what colour was the bike, maybe? <laughs> Black. What area did you do it in? Norwood. Okay. Been there my whole life. I wouldn't have thought Norwood has a paper boy running around. I thought they would have had someone in a chariot. <laughs> <laughs> I did have two horses pulling the bike, yes. <laughs> How old were you when you were doing this? I was nine. Nine through okay. ten. I did not last very long. I got sick of it quite quickly. And how much were you getting paid? Uh, Six dollars an hour. He's putting you on the grill. All right, all right. Yeah. Uh, Callum? Uh, this guy's pretty much taken my story because I <laughs> indeed, I indeed was the Likely paperboy, and I'll story. tell you a little story. I, uh, even though I do have a bullseye aim, it's something I developed later on because in my early stages of being a newspaper boy around Largs Bay, which was I reckon twenty dollars for the week, it was like yeah. Something like that. Um, but I did throw a newspaper and it landed on some guy's muscle car, this vintage Tirana, and he came out and sprayed me and yelled at me and my mum had to save me when I was like seven. But from there, I learned my lesson. I got scared and I developed that bullseye aim. Okay, that sounds pretty convincing. What uh, what bike did you have? I didn't do a bike. I walked it with our shopping bags. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> That's, uh, yeah, that sounds... 
Yeah. It sounds a bit more convincing than Tom at the moment. Look, don't listen to those two because they're absolute liars. So many years ago, I worked at a travel agency down at Semaphore. Now, when I worked at there, out the front, there was always seagulls everywhere and they would absolutely drive me mental. So what I would do is when the paper would come, I would actually grab the paper and throw them at the seagulls to make them leave so they weren't going to the bathroom all over our shop. And uh, over the years, I just ma- managed to really get my aim perfect. You're terrorising animals. I really <laughs> hope that yours isn't true. <laughs> yeah. um, well, I think I'm going to have to go with Callum. That sounded the most convincing to me. Ricky, that is correct. Yay! Callum was telling the truth. You picked the rats correctly. Congratulations. <laughs> I think I grilled Tom a fair bit. Yeah, yeah. yeah I really got put on the grill then, yeah. didn't I? <laughs> uh, well, thanks so much for joining us, Ricky. For more information about Taps SA, head to www.tapsa.com.au. Thanks for joining us this morning. You've been a pleasure. No worries. Thanks, thanks for having me. Love this podcast? Support it and sponsor today. Simply head to oscastnetwork.com for details.